This is Kristen McAuliffe, live from The Challenger. Teachers are excited about this. Alka-Seltzer in the container. Look at that bubble! Here's your reaction. The whole country was invested in that, in that mission. We're going to have the opportunity to kind of bring that, that mission full circle. Hi there. My name is Ricky Arnold, and I'm living and working on the International Space Station. Today, we're going to look at effervescence in space. Effervescence is the release of gas bubbles in a liquid. Think about when you open a bottle of soda and bubbles come up. That's carbon dioxide gas leaving the soda. So are you ready to learn more about effervescence? Come on, let's check it out. For our demonstration today, I'm going to use an antacid tablet in water. Antacid is a tablet used to treat indigestion. If you look at the ingredients for an antacid, you'll find it contains citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, or just plain old baking soda. When acids and bases come in contact with each other, they create a chemical reaction. However, in an antacid tablet, the two chemicals are in solid form and they can't react because the molecules don't move. When you drop the tablet in water, the acid and baking soda react to form carbon dioxide bubbles. And remember, bubbles are evidence of a chemical reaction occurring. How quickly these bubbles form indicates how fast the reaction is proceeding. We call that the reaction rate. Look at the two reactions, one with a full tablet and one with a half tablet. Take note of the amount of bubbles and the size of the bubbles. So pay attention to the number of bubbles and the reaction rate and see if you notice any difference. So the next thing we want to do is to uh, see what happens when we shake up a tablet when it's put in water. Um, I know you're going to be using uh, clear plastic containers in your classroom. We don't have those on orbit. We don't have very many of them. Most of them are very small. Uh, glass we don't like because if it breaks, it floats everywhere. And plastic is heavy to launch to space. So we carry almost all of our stuff, including our food and drinks, in foil or Ziploc bags. So I'm going to try this in a little Ziploc bag, and I will shake the bag up with water in it. I'll seal it up and see what happens. My guess is the seal is going to open as the volume of the gas starts to expand. But we'll I'll put a little bit of water in, and then I'll throw a tablet in, and we'll see what happens. So you see the reaction. And now I'm going to shake it. And you see how fast it's forming bubbles. And then I'll shake it again. Some of the bubbles are starting to force their way out. And you can see the bag is actually inflating. And as predicted, the zipper came open and the bubbles are coming out. So that's what happens with shaking when more of the, uh, more of the acid and the sodium bicarbonate come in contact with water, therefore by increasing the reaction rate. And you could see the bubbles uh, starting to form more rapidly. They're still going strong. If you haven't already done so, you'll be doing the same experiment in your classroom. As you do it on Earth, compare the reaction to what it looks like here in space. Talk about that with your classmates and see what they think. Thanks for participating in our experiment today. I'll see you next time.